Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna Louise and I'm in for another video. In today's video, I actually did a poll on Twitter to see what you guys wanted to see. Um, I had two reviews planned out and I put both of them on Twitter for you guys to vote in a poll. And um, you guys voted for, as you can see in the title, the Kylie Birthday Collection review. And I stated on Twitter that I did not have everything in right now. I only have two things in. And I'm currently waiting on um, the eyeshadow palette and the gloss to come in. Because um, there was two separate orders, so um, there will be a part two to this video. So, of course, this is part one, and later, whenever I get in the other two things, there will definitely be that part two. Um, and then, of course, for Thursday's video, I'm going to be doing my other um, review that I had put on Twitter for you guys to vote for. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, really, really excited about this review. Kylie Cosmetics, I mean, definitely is 100%. I've definitely decided. It's my favorite makeup brand. I absolutely love Kylie Cosmetics. I love Kylie. Um, I love the new show Life of Kylie. If you guys haven't seen it, it's on E! on Sunday nights, and it is so good. I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, I was super, super excited about her birthday collection. Um, I thought like the whole entire like little pink theme was really super cute. I love the sparkles. I love the pink. I know a lot of people said that it kind of looked childish, but then again... Um, Too Faced. Do you ever not think that some of Too Faced things kind of look a little bit, you know, not grown up? I mean, I don't know. But I guess haters are going to hate. And I absolutely love Too Faced packaging too. So that was like definitely not, you know, banning or like bashing them or whatever. Um, but anyhow, we'll go ahead and just get right into the video. And I hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is my limited edition Kylie birthday bag. And fun fact, so Kylie turned 20 on August the 10th, and we are actually one month and two days apart because my birthday is on September the 12th, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is literally one of my favorite things I own. I just mean in general. I'm honestly so obsessed with this bag. I have been bringing it everywhere, and many people say it's so, like, I guess pricey for a makeup bag, but like... I've been really wanting a really good makeup bag for a while now, and I think this one's just honestly so nice. And, like, the packaging, as in, like, the material and stuff that it's made out of, super, super nice. And whenever I got it in, I was just, like, so stoked at how big it is. Like, I don't know if you, I don't really even know if this camera does it justice, but it is really big. Um, it is really soft, and that's just the thing. Like, obviously it has glitter, but it's a really soft material, so therefore, obviously, the glitter does not come out on your hands. It has this really nice K on the side for Kylie. Obviously, her signature lips, and then also, it, of course, unzips, and the space in this is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and show you, but the funny thing is, is I actually have my products in here that I'm going to reviewing, or be reviewing on Thursday's video, so I'm going to have to dump those out before I show you. Um... So I just dumped the stuff out, and oh my gosh, okay. Can you see how much space is in this? Like, I feel like the camera is making everything appear smaller than it really is, but there is actually so much space. And one of the things I also really love about it is the two pockets on the side. So it's not just one big open thing. It has the two pockets, not one, but two, and I absolutely love that because I don't, okay, I don't know why, but I'm so weird about getting my makeup packaging dirty. And so having these two pockets is amazing for putting like makeup brushes in or something of a little bit of my makeup that would be somehow dirtier from the rest or like maybe has some kind of fallout. Like I can make sure that it is in those compartments and staying safe from the rest of my makeup. So yeah, it's super nice. It's $36, but once again, I think it's totally worth it. And I mean, her site has $40 free shipping, so why not get like a lip gloss or a, um, an oat, bleh an ultra glow or one of her like more cheaper things to go with it to get free shipping and another product because I mean it is so worth it and like if you guys really want a good makeup bag that's super cute and this is this is my favorite design too out of all of her makeup bags like I think I know she had like a plain silver one I, I think there may have been a plain black one I'm not for sure but this is definitely the best and I absolutely love it um and like I said, they do do $40 um, free shipping, and I wanted more stuff in her um, birthday collection anyway, so I chose to get an Ultra Glow. I'd actually been wanting an Ultra Glow since her Take Me On Vacation 
um, little like range came out over the summer. Well, it still is the summer, but earlier um, in the summer. And I don't know. I just thought they were so cool. I don't really think I've seen anything like it necessarily. And I honestly, the little bottle reminded me of like, and I say this all the time, like a Parmesan cheese bottle. Like how you, you know, shake it and it's, yeah. Or like the RCMA powder there. That, I think that's probably a better comparison. But I thought they were so cute and I didn't see anything like it. And with highlight, like I really love shine and I'm actually wearing it right now. Like I hope you can tell. Um, like I really hope the camera is picking it up. Like it's honestly amazing. Um, so yeah, I picked one up and I got Queen. I think, of course, they all come in this packaging, which is absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love the pink. The pink and the silver, like, it's honestly so cute. But let me put it up closer to the camera. So it just says Kylie, ingredients on the back. And then at the top it says Queen. And I, I don't know, like, I know a lot of people don't like a lot of pinks. Or at least I've talked to people who wanted King over Queen because of the pinky tone. And to be honest... I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it doesn't, like, really look pink on the skin. Maybe on the eyes if you, like, use it for, like, eyeshadow glitter kind of stuff. But, I don't know. It doesn't really, like, necessarily pull off a pink vibe. But, once again, here is the actual container, and I love it. I just love how it has Kylie's signature here. Like, I think it's the cutest packaging ever. And when I open it, I have to be very careful because the stuff does, like, shake out everywhere. But let me just say... This stuff literally goes a long way, and I'm obsessed with it, but if you are not a fan of, like, glittery highlights, then I definitely don't recommend it unless um, you, like, want to use it on your eyes, because I definitely plan on doing that. Haven't yet, but I plan on it, um, but I don't mind glittery highlight at all, because I love sparkle. So, I'm going to try to show you guys this without, like, getting it everywhere, but can you guys... Huh, maybe I should do this a different way. Let me do this. Okay. Can you guys see that? Like all that glitter? If you can't, let me try to do it again this way. Okay, yeah. See all that glitter? It's, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> do you see the glitter particles flying up in the air? I knew that was going to be a disaster. Okay. Time to go clean up glitter. Also, just before I clean that up, take a good look at this lid. See how you can barely see sparkles? Honestly, I take my little brush and I rub it in the lid and use it for both sides of my cheeks. And they're really, really glowing. Like, I don't even have to dip it into all the powder um, that was in the actual container you just saw. But I really do want to cry because I just spilled that. And it looks like a lot came out. But then again, there actually is a lot in this package because it is really finely, like, milled glitter. Um, but I have a mess. So I'm going to clean that up. And I will be right back. Okay, guys, so moving on with the review, I feel like you can see glitter particles still floating up in the ceiling or in the air, but still, anyway, I'm absolutely, like I say, obsessed with the packaging, obsessed with the way it looks. Um, it is absolutely like blinding on the skin. And honestly, what I like to do, um, I have used it by itself before, but I love to also use it with my Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I always put, like, I think my favorite one, um, Forever Lit. Yeah, I put Forever Lit on first, and then I put the Ultra Glow on top, and it literally, like, makes it come out, like, so much more. Um, I haven't tried it with any other highlighters, but I definitely recommend if you do that and you want it to even pop out even more, then I definitely recommend you doing that. It is definitely worth the wild and it, like I say it makes it so much better and I'm also going to use this on my eyes because I saw Nikki tutorials and her like little review that she did over the birthday collection and oh my god I like absolutely loved her eye look and Laura Lee's as well so yeah I definitely want to try it out on my eyes and um yeah okay so really fast until um we move on with the video because I, I thought, you know, since I only have two things to show you in this video and there will be a part two um, of the birthday collection review, I thought that I would show you my Take Me On Vacation palette because it is like, if not my favorite, tied with one of my most favorite eyeshadow palettes that I own. Um, but first, I want to show you guys the packaging that the birthday collection came in. And I don't know if the camera's picking it up good enough, but it came in this beautiful baby pink box. 
with all of these hearts. This is Kylie Jenner, so it's absolutely beautiful. And then the card looks like this. This is Kylie, Kylie Jenner, with the silver sparkles. And then it says on the back, Hello 20, I am so excited to share with you my second annual birthday collection. Pink is the theme this year. Hope you enjoy and have fun. XOXO, Kylie. So, yeah. I'm absolutely in love with this. Like, this pink box is amazing. And I'm definitely going to keep this pink box and, like, display it because, honestly, I'm just, I'm, I'm a sucker for pink and I absolutely love it. Um, but, yeah. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and now move into the Take Me On Vacation palette. I actually got the Take Me On Vacation palette not too long ago. Like, this is, this is basically brand new. I've just used it a couple of times. I got it late. Um, but, you know, I'm so glad I did. It's literally the best, one of the best eyeshadow palettes ever. Um, I'm definitely always a fan of Kylie's, like, eyeshadows. I have her Royal Peach palette, and I love it. Like, I just love the, basically, like, the versatility of her products. Like, her eyeshadow palettes, I don't know. Like, they just, the colors in them are so unlike, you know, your standard eyeshadow palette that you have. Like, with just, I feel like there's always just too many neutrals. But this one's absolutely amazing. This is what it looks like out of the box. And here is what it looks like open, and I have used it a couple of times. Let me just flip the mirror around. It's absolutely gorgeous, if you can tell. And yeah, so actually each time I've used it, I've done a different look, because like there's just so many gorgeous colors. It's like, it's hard not to do a different look each time, because like just try, I love trying out new eyeshadow looks. Um, and yeah, I have been dying for a good yellow, a good purple, and this blue is amazing as well, so I've, I've been loving using this palette. And like one thing I absolutely love about this palette is the mirror and the brush. I am always a fan of the brushes that Kylie puts in there, and this time it actually has her full name on it, which I actually like that better than it just saying Kylie. I like how it says Kylie Jenner, and it is a double-ended brush. I don't use the fluffy end as much as I use this end. I actually always use this brush when I do eye looks from her palette. It is definitely a good brush. Like I say, I do prefer the more dense, shorter end though. But yeah, I absolutely love, like I say, her shadows. And I think they're super buttery and creamy. And um, I definitely recommend them, like, hands down. And the palette was $54, and that is a lot. But then again, I mean, you have the Urban Decay that are 54 you have so many other palettes that are 54 and that one's totally worth, worth it. And you get 16 colors, so that's just a really good deal, I think. And I'm going to go ahead and do swatches for you. First, let me go ahead and read off the colors because it obviously doesn't say the colors under the shadow. So the colors are First Class, Summer 17, Pina Colada, Starfish, Island Girl, Sail Away, Aloha, Palm Tree, Sea Breeze, Coconut, Paradise, On the Rocks, Sunset, Spray Tan, Luxury, and Surfboard. So they are the colors and, or the names of the colors. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and swatch them and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here is the whole front row. My swatches are very off and wonky and I apologize for that. But anyway, this is them. The lighter colors up here are not picking up on camera and that makes me mad. Honestly, this palette, actually, I did find it very hard to swatch, but um, the color payoff when you actually get them on your eyes is really good, so that's 100% a plus, and yeah, I'll be right back with the second row. Okay, guys, and here is the final row. I feel like these swatched a little better. Like, obviously, they're still not going to show up perfect on camera, but um, yeah, that's the bottom row, and I absolutely love them. Like I say, the color payoff on the eyes is better than the swatches like honestly trust me I promise um, I absolutely love them and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you on the palette the ones that I used on my eyes today so basically if my brush don't fall I use this purpley mauve shade this dark one right here and the very light purple at the top I'm obsessed with those colors. Yeah, that's honestly pretty much it, you guys, until the second part of this video, which will be the eyeshadow palette that I wanted all one from the birthday collection and one of the glosses from the birthday collection as well. So anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. You can do that by hitting my face right here. And also, you can watch another video of mine right here. And that would mean the world to me if you would subscribe and watch another video. And other than that, you guys, I hope you have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this. And I will see you guys in my next video.